It's the second time Zimbabwe and South Africa are meeting to try and find a solution to the ban, but little progress has been made. Our destinies are inextricably interlinked, I think, as we know it. Uh, and that if uh, the Zimbabwean economy is struggling and having difficulties, uh, we are going to be the first one to um, feel the effects of that uh, in, uh, outside of their own borders. The two countries are also trying to resolve a bigger issue, a SADC protocol. Discussions around hundreds of product and tariff lines that South African companies export to Zimbabwe has been going on for years. The tariffs were meant to be phased out in 2012. It hasn't happened. In addition to the 735 lines, they have introduced surcharges, which is an additional duty on the duties that are currently implementable. And South Africa has toughened its stance. In South Africa's view, it is that um, they need to follow the procedures and the processes that are provided for in the protocol to take into account the difficulties that they have. And that is the process that they are now embarking on. The discussions between the two countries have been hard in this most recent round and hopefully there will be some resolution before the SADC Trade Minister's meeting in some three weeks in Swaziland. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Pretoria, South Africa.